Gators in the white get a kickoff. Chaz Henry to do it. Stefan Green back deep for the Nittany Lions. Happy New Year, and off we go at the Outback Bowl. We'll let the kick get back to Green. There's a Opening drive from the 22, the all-time leading yardage gainer. Officially no gain, second and 10. McGloin's first pass is short. Third and 10. Gators bring five. McGloin down the middle. Oh, it's caught and dropped. Play action to Dempsey's throw is intercepted. Back to four receivers and Royster is the back. And McGloin on the edge. Complete cross midfield. Back. Right shoulder surgery here in the bowl period. Run by Royster. Done a nice job. Royster right, reading blocks. Third and six. Royster out of the backfield. Got a block very close to the first down. In the 34, McGloin throwing into the boundary and catches highlight into the beginning. Silas Red, true freshman in the game for the Nittany Lions. Third and three out of split backs. McGloin got away from the rush. Got it complete. Held on to for the first down. Nittany Lions looking for the lead. McGloin caught by Zug to the left side of the formation. Here comes Royster that way. Second and goal, McGloin looking the back of the end zone. Caught for the touchdown, but he came from out of bounds. Ruled immediately incomplete for Derek Moore. That's about as good an honor as you can have, because that means it's done the right way. That means it's with toughness. It's good job with you if you're going to keep going. Evan Royster's the back, seeking space. And a Florida defense hit. Matt McGloin rolling out on third down and throwing an interception. Brantley pumping, throwing to Rainey. Burton time now, 15. Flipping to Marius Hines, running around to the 10, and Hines into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the year. That is what you call execution. It all starts with, again, the center, Mike Pouncey. Watch the reverse. It's going to start to the right. He's going to flip it to Hines, and Pouncey is going to come across the formation and make a beautiful open oh. field block on number 10, Malcolm Willis. McGloin from shy of the 30, starts the drive, a little slant. Do the complete package. Inside run this time. Out of Fairfax, Virginia, where he's a terrific lacrosse player. McGloin taking a shot for one of his big receivers. Second down, Silas Red. Caught by 46 for a first down. McGloin down the middle. He's had a chance to make a great catch. This time he's running right down the seam. Ball hits him right in his hands and it's dislodged. And it looked like Ahmad Black. Anthony Farah pressure on. They got it. They blocked the punt. Now can they scoop and score? Picked up by McCray. Touchdown. Laurenti McCray picked it up. And the guy who has been such a factor, we told you earlier in blocking kicks, Chris Rainey right in the middle of it for the Gators. There's two or three Gators that could have got that done. And then Patton, 83, Solomon Patton, who got it first. There's too much speed with that safe, quote-unquote, punt formation to block. Couldn't do anything about it. And McCray's got a New Year's Day memory, a touchdown for Florida. When his twin brother was the center last year, Penn State back at it, trying to respond. And ever this is not the best linebacking core the Gators have ever rolled out. They've been inconsistent there. You know, they've possessed the ball a lot more than Florida. Matt McGloin, pass complete to Brett Brackett. From the sideline, busted lip to work on him. He's out for now. And it's good play as well as help. There's another hard count, another free play, and a shot downfield. Boy, got it all! Touchdown, Penn State! What a play!
play. Down. Let's check his knee as he comes down and where he is. The ball is. He's got it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Penn State again. And this one will stand. Just like he used to. Second down and goal, Royster. That inside run gets. No throw, no throw for their tall receiver, Moy. Covered by Moses Jenkins. Bracket holds, Howell snaps, and all done well. Season of youth and injuries. We've never been in sync on the defensive side of the ball. There's Chris Rainey. There's the speed that Urban Meyer was looking for. Into Penn State territory. 51 on the run for Rainey. First run of the season, that 51-yarder. Reed swings it to Demps. He's trapped for a total of seven. Third and 11, the underneath throw is incomplete. They got Reed at quarterback with some time, able to throw and complete it. Pressure and deliver strikes. Now he's just going to run with Pouncey leading the way for a game. Newton as a youngster when he was at Florida. Taken off on a T-ball play. To the middle, non-stop, straight Reed, straight up the middle that time. And Reed. Pass complete. Brigade quarterback. Brantley. Hines has it separated. Income 30 yards. Chaz Henry, the punter. Able to bang it through. That's big for Chaz. Big for the Gators to get a field goal made. Beat a block and make a tackle. Well read, done. Read the quarterback, John. Needing to get to the 38. It's Brantley back off the bench. His pass is complete but short. Oh, fake. As Henry runs for the first down, and he's going to be a think shy of it. Silas Red comes in as the running back. Great field position. And Red made the first man miss. And very close to a first down. We're there. No buzz down to the officials to stop it for replay. So it goes on with fans riled up. Showing pressure over the center. Picked up. The quarterback McGloin to the end zone. Incomplete. From earlier was the guy who came free. They bring the end around this time with a great open space for Davon Smith for the lead. McGloin. He had a man wide open in the back of the end zone, but he's going to run it and get there. Touchdown, Penn State. Solomon Patton awaits from the eight. Seam here, Solomon Patton sideline two. Patton, this game's spicing up now. Starting 2011 here, the Outback Bowl. It's been a Penn State defense. Second and ten, Reed will throw. Tried to throw it to Jeff Demps. Bringing Rainey back to help with his blitz pressure. Brantley fires a shot down the middle. It's caught. And we'll see how the offense turns then. Reed first down. Reed throwing incomplete. Reed running right. It'll be Reed who fumbled that snap and got it back at the 39 one from 47, it appears. Right on line. Great story. Chaz Henry. Only called into the place kicking role here because of the injury to Sturgis. Reed faked the run and he'll throw. It's cut. The mark gives him the first down. We had a six touchdown game against Kentucky. Out leading the way for Reed. On second and 11. And it's ruled incomplete. Forward pass. Out of empty. Brantley throwing toward the end zone. Broken up. Malcolm Willis, but a flag comes in. Pass interference. Number 10 of the defense. The penalty occurred inside the two yard line. The ball is placed at the two yard line from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Gators trying to take the lead. Work it up inside, and Gillisley's pulled back. And the hand up the middle is a touchdown with Gillisley. You know, take a peek at this play before the extra point. Gillisley, who scored multiple times against Vandy, 
and Tennessee just needing to break the front of the line just break the plane and see anything there that would change the call on the field for a touchdown. It's going to stand. Yes. The call on the field stand. Touchdown. There wasn't enough there to see anything. Game's been tied three times and three lead changes. <laughs> Pounded in on the goal line earlier. Gillis Lee. Go to Demps. Jeff Demps first down. London, Connecticut. Richard, freshman quarterback. Looks to throw. Uh, design run with Reed. First down. Rainey sweeping right. Colasanti comes over. Matchups. Reed running. Closely in the slot. Reed runs. First down. In. Will he remain? He flips it to Amarius Hines, who scored earlier, who's on the run and inside the five. Reed keeping. Propels himself here. With Reed left. There goes Reed, looking for blockers, looking end zone. Throws broken up. Malcolm Willis, great play. Been a very good kicking game for Chaz Henry, who's given the Gators three field goals here this afternoon. Florida up by six. Entertaining game. No timeouts. Matt McGloin for Moy. Inbounds. Got both feet down. At 240. McGloin to Justin Brown. Hangs on to that. Edge rushes this year. McGloin's got time, stepped up. Gets to the sideline, brought down on that sideline. Like these guys. And there you go on cue, and Royster for the first down and more. Royster got sub to get him a block, and Evan Royster took it to the 32. 100 seconds, Gators bring pressure. Royster running to the 26-yard line. Another corner blitz. McGloin steps into the void and throws incomplete. The walk on McGloin throws. Intercepted! Ahmad Black, in his final game as a Gator, takes it all the way home and sends Urban out a winner. would be the guy to do it. What a finish. Memorable moment. The interception return for touchdown. 80 yards. Well, McGraw had all day to throw. And he telegraphed throw to Hapley as tight end. And Black undercut him. You know, this guy stripped the ball. He intercepted a pass in each half. <laughs> Fitting into Urban Meyer's career at Florida. He's provided a lot of fun, man, and inspiring moments. Yeah. That's a young man putting a helmet on and going to battle. And I, I'm going to miss that more than anything. TV part of it's very appealing to him to stay close to the game. McGloin throws underneath. That pass is caught by Reds, who's kind of under the cover of darkness a little bit. And you talk about life lessons as phone call gives you time to think about what you're going to say as it gets spun back around. Great perspective from Joe. Dual possession belongs to the offense, but the Gators have this one. Interception number five from McGloin. Moses Jenkins has it. Yeah, the Outback Bowl wrapping up Rose Bowl game coming up next on ESPN. So stay tuned for that over on ESPN. Turnover for the Rose Bowl game. As the sun sets here in Tampa, and Urban Meyer takes one last bow as the leader of the Mighty Gators. Can you let us in and share with us what this moment is like for you? Well, I have a, a great young man, friend of mine, Ian Lockwood. We said we're going to get some way, find a way to get that game ball in that locker room. We're about to give it to him here in a minute. 